Welcome to the bad boy pod, talking bad boy bars, make a good girl nuts with the bad boy swag. Having conversations that a bad boy mad, sit down, relax, kick back, have a blast, enjoy the bad boy pod, brought to you by Lady Pod. Testicino. Oh, back in the testicle <laughs> on a fucking Sunday, early afternoon. An Sunday. early afternoon poon, if you ask me. Oh, favorite day of the week? No. Sunday Chino? I don't think I have a favorite day of the week. I honestly don't either. I guess I Saturday is a classic answer. Hmm. But you know, there's something about a Friday. Something about a Friday. My name is Diane. Oh yeah, it's such a Diane. She's a TGIF bitch. Oh yeah. It's so that's her, her favorite knuckles. restaurant. That too. She had her first job there. Oh. She was, I don't know, I I don't know what they do there. Diane's favorite American restaurant? Classes? Yeah. Uh, Did you have TJ Fridays in Canada? No. I How about Applebee's? I don't know if historically they ever did, though. I oh. don't. I think maybe Applebee's. Okay. Diane's favorite restaurant is anywhere you can get a Corona Rita. Oh, my name's know? Diane. Yes. <laughs> sink, a, sink a beer into a margarita and Diane's right there. I mean, is that something you should try as an adult human being living on this planet Earth? I don't Or is that so. just like a pass? I think it's like, you know, when you're first starting to drink and you're you're mm. moseying into alcoholism, it's a good mm. place to start. I see. Yeah. yeah, definitely certainly never had one. Gotta say. Damn, bad boy, they're out of the sandwich I wanted. Yeah. How, how many times a week do you order in? And be honest. Um, one? Oh, wow, you're good. I know, we've been really good lately. You're good. Here's the thing, I really think there's a correlation between no nicotine, Julia, and like fixing meals, because like now I'm such like a little fixer, I'm like, oh, you need. what am I going to distract myself with? But I don't even think that, it's just like, oh yeah, what am I going to do for dinner tonight? You have the time. I definitely have the time, and I have to do something with my little fingers. Yeah. I mean, it's so much cheaper. Ugh, I know. To just make fucking It food. really is so much it cheaper. It is. I've been making a lot of curries lately. Oh, we were going to make curry tonight. Perfect That's testicle. Uh, definitely. Talk. This is the best testicle What talk. kind? Vegetable? Vegetable. I can send you the recipe I like. Oh, okay. please do. Yeah, it's wow, potato, p- potato and chickpea. Oh, God, I love a chick. I love chicks. I love potato. My name is Diane. My name is Diane. Same, same, really, I think, has the best curry on the planet. Oh, you're doing a Thai curry? No. I oh. think it's just going to be a... Indian? I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I tend to I do. I guess it's going to be an Indian curry. Um, yeah, why not? You really think about it. Look you look. really think about it. Sometimes I do chickpeas. Sometimes I do lentil. That's what I call the spice of life. I mean, I like that there's a variation. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm a curry gal. What can I say? I mean, me too. I'll use coconut milk any day of the week. Mm. The recipe I use doesn't have coconut milk in it, but I, I throw that bad boy in there anyway. I do like coconut milk. Yeah. Who does? It's such a good, a good bitch. I mean, I love it in a, ooh, carrot ginger soup. Okay. I thought you were going to say smoothie. Oh. But yes, that would be good in a carrot ginger soup as well. I guess it's like half that anyway. Carrot ginger but or butternut butternut squash? Carrot ginger for sure. Ginger. Okay. I mean like butternut squash is fine. It's just fine to me. Uh-oh. Sorry shots, I said it. Shots fired. Um, it's okay. Uh, all is forgiven. I'm not the butternut squash police. I mean, I'll have a potato soup. I know people don't really make mm. potato soup, but it's like... Like potato leek? Just straight up potato. But potato leek would be nice too. Just straight up potato. I've had, there was, what, I forget that restaurant at um that library downtown, but there used to be this like outdoor, or maybe still is, resto there, and they had the best potato soup in the world. My was name it, is Diane. Was it just like liquefied mashed potatoes? Basically. That doesn't sound good to me. Liquefied mashed potatoes? Great of band course. name. She was. <laughs> Blood Uncle liquefied mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. We had a good talk names. about Blood Uncle earlier, and that's another good band name. Yum, yum. Yum, yum in my tum tum. Potato soup, indeed. All right. Should we see how this testicle is? Yeah. Recipe talk. All right. Smack dab out of the testy. That's what she said. Oh, do you like when people say that? Oh, nothing makes me happier than when people say that's what she said. Oh, doesn't it just tickle your Definitely. ivories? Definitely tickles my ivories, yes. Don't even know what that means. I think that's a piano thing. I, yes, it is a piano thing, but okay. it just mean in terms of like 
Do you ever take your piano lessons as a kid? Keyboard lessons. Yeah. My name is Diane. I took them too. Yeah. One of the, I'd say one of the funnest. And then I think out of convenience reasons, my mom was just like, so you're both taking Taekwondo now. Oh. And it was not my favorite. I took judo. I took art class. I took piano. None of it stuck. I'm bad at everything. Oh. My name is Julia Davidovich. <laughs> and the Chinese spy balloon. Oh. Huh. I did that. That was me. Yep. And my name is Zoe Clark. Yep. And my spy balloon. Yep. Very tiny. And my name is Diane. Oh. And I did shoot the spy balloon. Oh, fuck. She At really least I tried. tried. I found it very weird to get like, we were just like walking to the flea market and I got a notification from Citizen that the mm. that the spy balloon had been shot down. And oh. I was like, that's interesting. Isn't Why Citizen supposed to be, to be in your mile range? It just like, it, ban- it spans from that to... Christmas is coming, and oh. we've spotted Santa in the sky. Oh, what? There's a, there's a Kringle jingle in the sky over New York, and I wonder what it may be. It's like every year they do that. It's very embarrassing. Oh, God, that sucks for them. It's very embarrassing. Um, I mean, I and then no they'll be like, they, they also push. shot down a giant balloon. So, yeah, I think China's pretty peeved about that. I mean, don't we have fucking spy balloons everywhere? Uh, yeah, My name I is think the so. USA. My name is the USA. My also, I saw a headline. Joe Biden's penis, and oh. I have spy balloons okay. all everywhere. Wow, you heard that about last about Joe Biden's penis. Is um, Joe Biden dead? Mm, oh. He's on death watch, I think. Oh, un- indubitably. He could, he could. He could croak at any moment. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. He could go out like the spy balloon in any moment and I get mean, shot in the sky. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm not saying that should happen because he's no, the president. No, 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 no. Um, but like, I don't know. I just kind of feel it in my bones that he's on death watch. But Ooh, I haven't lived say? through a presidential assassination. And Me either. you know what? Perhaps it's time. It not saying of, I'm doing anything about it. No, certainly not. No. And we are not. I mean, like... Like me holding a gun? Absolutely not. No, I've Couldn't talked about it. it before. When I went to the gun range, I shot the gun and hurt my fingy, so it won't be me. <laughs> my fingy. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't be part of this. And if like someone handed me one, yeah, I feel like it would just like 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 if someone was handing me like putty or something, it would mm-hmm. just kind of slowly slip out of my fingers. I feel floor. like if someone was handing it to me, I would like flail and it would drop on the ground and then it would probably shoot and kill people, but it wouldn't be my fault. It would be because I dropped it. My name is Alec Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... love somebody. You uh, want to absolutely. I mean, um, I'm sorry to say. I, I read an article, uh, early bad boy update that he was on his phone during the armory arms training. Oh no. So, Who's who, okay? You're hot goss last. alert. I mean, kind of hot goss alert. Also, <gasps> yeah, retiree oh, alert. Oh my god, Dr. Phil's What's show up? is ending. Early bad boy update. <sighs> wow, what is Diane gonna watch for hours on end? I guess more if he's still I, on. I, is he? I don't know. I gotta check. We'll check if he's still on. I don't know if Jerry's on. I don't know if any of the hits are on anymore. I mean, how many years until a uh, Dr. Phil reboot? I think oh. he has two years of retirement in him before he gets bored. Mrs. Phil. Um, so his last name is Phil? Is that how it works? Um, Phil McGraw? No, his first name is Phil. His first name Which, is Phil. So it'd be... Also, I think, I think women Dr. can McGraw be doctors somewhere. as well. So not... I mean, I'm just... It's Dr. McGraw and Dr. McGraw? No. No. You're What's right. Phil's Mrs. wife's Phil. name, though? Um, See? Diane. See? <laughs> no Diane one knows. McGraw. Diane McGraw. Uh, yeah, no they were married briefly. Very briefly. Very briefly. One of her most favorite marriages. Oh, yeah. Was that like your sicky dicky watch? Sorry I said that. It's okay. Um, No, I preferred Maury for sure. Maury was fun. Yeah. Price is Right, gal? No. 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 I love Price is Right. Definitely cartoony woonies. I definitely would watch Dexter's Lab. All the, all Johnny Bravo. I loved the misogyny. Lived oh. for it. <laughs> Lived um, for the jo- Problem misogyny when I was sick. Hey person. Arnold, I was definitely a cartoon poon <laughs> hound. Wow. Yeah. They definitely had uh, kids in the hall reruns mm. pretty much all day. Yeah, but no, out of out of the daytime talk, I would absolutely say Maury. I love seeing people who were scared of paper clips and what have you. Oh, God. Definitely cotton ball show. episode, if you know, you know. Oh, we'll put that in the slimer. You remember the cotton ball episode? No, I'll have to look it what? up. What? I don't think so. What's a cotton ball episode? The person who was deathly afraid of cotton balls? Mm. I've seen other ones like the broccoli or something. And yeah, they, like, and they like bring like, it out. Yeah, and they like, like someone like dresses, dresses up like a broccoli and Simply. chases them around the set. Like Dr. Mori? I don't think so. <laughs> no, no, he no. He was not a doctor. Married to Connie Chung, though. Oh, so shout out angel. to him. <laughs> sure. We'd love to see it. Um, I actually don't know much about Connie Chung. Oh. My name okay. is not Diane because Diane is a Connie Chung expert. We made love, we cried.
Oh, certainly. I feel like when they made love, they cried, though. I feel oh. like Maury and Connie had a beautiful relationship. Beautiful cry sex. You heard her here first and last. Yeah, probably everyone say. knows that. They had cry sex for sure. Um. Okay, well, who's your bad boy on the block? Have I you ever had cry sex? Is. Have I ever had cry sex? Um, not to the other person's knowledge. Okay, me either. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to sneak it in there without them knowing, you know? And uh, never because of the sex. It's always, you know, your mind wanders and you're like, you know what? Maybe now's a good time to just let it out. You're like, world hunger is unfair. Yeah, it's usually... And then you're like, in the arms of the angels. The angels. Oh, like, that song is beautiful, one. but also those dogs. I know the fucking dogs. It's As I smack Sully's butt. Yeah, well, he's he... just right here. He was never in a uh, shelter like that. He was simply just under a overpass. Wow. Yeah, I remember that about Sully. In the arms of an angel. Fran was definitely in just like this industrial storage area. Mm. Eating lunch with skunks. It was very cute. Oh. He had no idea what they were. Yummy in my tummy. Yeah. Skunks, possums, or raccoons? My favorite one. Fuck, Mary kill. Okay. (laughs) I would say it's like marry a raccoon yeah they're smart they're smart and great with their hands they love washing actually, their hands they're very actually clean. fuck a raccoon because they're great with their hands <laughs> oh my name is Zoe Clark. yeah absolutely um will and you please like <laughs> possums will you please like me Ooh, possums i would say kill no they're wait what was the other option again? skunk oh fuck they're everyone's like, like you're no, i gotta kill a skunk i'm sorry i gotta i gotta take it to the to your backyard bring the <laughs> animal control man here and, and take out a rabies yeah i guess skunk. you're right i guess you're right um i do have a way to quickly that... get rid of a skunk and it's by calling animal control and having them shoot you in my backyard did you know that was your first bad boy <laughs> that wasn't my first that bad boy. was i think and i will verify we'll try and find the jeff bezos episode um that yeah one. that was bad yeah <laughs> well you had to, i mean it was acting weird so Zoe definitely had a rabies inflicted. Inflicted? Is I don't think correct? it had rabies. I think it was partially eaten by something and was just dying slowly. My name is Diane. Oh, so you, it didn't have rabies. I would marry the skunk, though. You just got to remove the I would the marry the skunk. <laughs> yeah, I would marry the skunk, remove the stink sack, bada bing, bada boom. You kill the possum and you oh. fuck the raccoon because it's good with its hands. I'm like swapping the raccoon. and I mean, I'm definitely marrying the raccoon for life. Okay. I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you too. Thank you. Um, okay. But who is your bad boy on the block? But oh, I know what you it already is. know it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, definitely laundry problems at the one zoo. I mean, like, it's like my new? favorite thing to complain about. Well, like. I know I'm sensitive about them, but this was annoying. Yeah. Go on. New Go. management of the building. Okay. Why is it like socially acceptable to pet. Um, dogs and cats and butts in a way they were just like boop, boop, boop. well it's not like you're fingering his asshole ew <laughs> also so like me. i'm sorry but it's like it's more like his back like his butt is on the you know his butt like yeah, you're patting really his, 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 his lower back. back you're right my name is julia davido and yeah. i'm patting the lower back yeah i'm sorry i said fingering the butthole Thank it wasn't for apologizing. it wasn't on purpose i mean he scared everybody i am an imperfect man no doubt about it um okay so you but you hate your new management? Oh, or? sorry. Anyway, they, first of all, they changed they change the lock on the laundry door without telling anybody. And then I gaslit like- me into thinking that they had handed out keys on Monday. <laughs> Why would they Which do that? Which is deeply that? annoying. Just because it's like, they probably manage a bunch of places. And then when I asked the question, so when you handed out keys on Monday, where was mine? Like, I was here all day. I was like, I didn't get one. Mm. And they were like, oh, actually, it's just the same key as the gate. And I was like, oh, oh actually, don't I Don't kill see. Julia. Don't, <laughs> don't kill me. Don't, oh, like, so they I mean, do laundry new... for all I care. But, like, I don't give a why shit. Would, why, would new, why would they have to change the lock at all? I mean, I think they just want to make it one lock for them so it's easy. Sure. I think it's personally just easier Lazy for them. Bitches. But, like, again, I'm going to be the nightmare tenant and yeah. say, fucking notify people. Yeah, That's annoying. That's so annoying. So if you don't want a message from me at 8 a.m. Yeah. Did you, was your laundry in there when it was changed? No, but there was someone's laundry in there. Oh, on top of my next laundry problem. Okay. I'm so sorry to complain okay, please. further. No. Oh, we should say it's a double-double moil as long as my bad boy oh, doesn't act up. Moil on the loose. Yeah. You're right. He's really out there. Yeah. Um. So there was like, there was someone's laundry in there. I was like, so someone knew about the key. I don't fucking know. Or maybe it was in there in between the change the whole time yeah could have been because it was sopping wet in the dryer did it smell Mm, i wasn't smelling it Mm. but like i went to go grab it and i was like okay so what definitely happened here was the washer was actually fucked 
they didn't leave a note saying the washer's fucked and I called um, maintenance. And so I put my shit in there and then it was sopping wet. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Oh, like the spin cycle didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Because uh... I didn't know. And then I was like, well, okay, well, now I'm double annoyed that I well, even Well, now like... the new management finally has something they can do. Which I mean, is no, they the can't machine. because I have to go straight to like, you have to just talk to the laundry people and be like, laundry people come and they're like, we'll be here. Wait, you, the management doesn't talk to the laundry no. people? You call the laundry people? Yeah. Then what's the point of the management? They're just there to change locks. That's it. I'm going to punch them. I know. And they sent us a little flyer that was like, rent is due on the first yeah, of the know. month, two days before it was due. And they're like, your other option is sending, uh, you can do it online, but it'll be 3.5%. I was like, are you shitting my ass? You cannot <laughs> believe. No. If you think I'm paying that much, like, no. That's such a chonky percent. It was. So then I put a sticker on my envelope to be really annoying. Oh. I was just like, I'm going to be really See, for beautiful. us, we can do the 2.5% if we pay by credit online. Or we can do an e-check, which is just like the routing number, checking number. And that's just $2, no, which this is was just fine. like transactions for both. That's so like, annoying. You can't do that. Well, they basically took away. We were not allowed to bring in physical checks. So we have to do it online. That's annoying. Yeah. I mean, so ugh. you have to pay the two dollars, and you have to mail it. Well, no, no, no. Oh, you have to pay your two dollars. Yeah, you have ugh. to do it online. See, two dollars is manageable. Yeah, two dollars is fine. Percentage, percentage annoying. is full blown rude bullshit. Making me fucking send it in an envelope, doubly annoying. Mm. I hate that. You can't just drop it off. No. Okay. Well, that's annoying to me. Yeah. Whatever. All so my the spin cycle didn't work? Spin cycle didn't work. I had to fucking do it. And then for some reason... Did actually, you have to dry it like six times? No. I, I was like, you can't just put it in there because then the dryer stops working. It, it's too heavy. You air dried? I air dried, but it was still like gross and like soapy. <sighs> yeah. Had left like this huge pallet out there for no reason i have no clue they just like got some furniture delivered sure so i just like rested my huge blanket on it that was sopping wet it was very useful okay well so, thanks for leaving your pallet in public beautiful pallet beautiful pallet you it's ever do really a long. diy project with a pallet no me neither you mean like <laughs> i'm gonna make a bed frame yeah with some like pallets that. i mean you know what in a pinch i do that that feels like something I really floor. could have done in the heat of the pandemic. Oh, yeah. You could just be a pallet queen. Like September 2020, I could have done something with a pallet. Oh, fuck. But I didn't. I mean, I think everyone was just uh, crippled with fear. I'm nostalgic for that time. Oh, I wish I could go back and redo my time. I would do it so different. I t like, honestly, I would have done so much more. I don't know. What? Like what? I don't know. Yeah. Just like organize more, do more tiny projects. Yeah. Learn more. Definitely learn. Panic less. I would I would absolutely panic less. I would not wear masks outside. Oh, yeah. That would have been different. That I mean, I probably would have been stoned, but it would have been okay. Yeah. I mean. And by stoned, I mean like someone whipping stones at me. Right. Not like high because you no. were. Yeah. Definitely. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Um. Okay. Bye, bad boy on the block. Please. Oh, I'm so sorry. But do you want to had... turn off the light? No. So no. Oh, I should get a picture before you, you know, die. Okay. Also, I like this pose you're in. Okay, I'll I'll stick with it then. I was going to take my hands out of my pants, but I decided I to just keep your hands there. Do you have my leg hair in it? Um, I mean if you want me to get it in. I don't really care. My leg hair is very straight for the listeners. Yeah, we've talked about it. I mean, we didn't talk about it on air, of course, but like um my straight pubes. She has very straight. I mean, she wouldn't show me them or anything. Yeah, no, no, no. But you weird. can just tell from my leg hair. Okay, yeah. I'll take a photo of you. If this is a double, I'll have to do another one later. Oh, dear. We'll see. Anyway, I've had a migraine for like six days fucking straight. That's nuts. And it is so unpleasant and nothing fucking helps. Usually when I take a medicine, I'm like, ooh, I feel fine. Or if I take a nap, I'm like, ooh, I feel fine. But not with this one. This one's a stubborn bubburn and it will not go away. And the only thing that helps is laying in darkness with an ice pack over my head. And that just helps in the moment because then when I take that ice pack off, boom, she's back, baby. Ugh. Yep. Zoe's big period. I think it's Zoe's big period. I can't wait for this movie. <laughs> Zoe's huge period. <laughs> it's a Disney Channel original movie. It actually, really is. Um, it's about the first coming. Wait, what? It's not to get too personal. What did you get your first period? It's not too personal. I was I I was thirteen, but almost fourteen. Hell yeah! Because it was September fourth. 
my, and my birthday was wow. September 18th. Oh so my God, I was do you 13. The day? I do because it was 14 days before my 14th birthday, and oh, I fuck. love numbers. I feel like we've talked about this before. Mike. Yeah. You really love numbers. I do. And my mom got me roses, which is so embarrassing. I love that part of the story. <laughs> yeah. Did I mean, ever... <laughs> I was at my, fr- I was having a sleepover at my friend's house, and I went to camp with this friend. And everyone at, at camp had already gotten their big P, and oh, I hadn't. No. I hadn't because I was a fucking loser nerd. <sighs> So but also, wait. maybe it was because I was on uh, medication. Oh. I don't know. Email Diana if you're a psychiatrist. I mean, was it better to get your period at 9 or 10 or to get it at 14? Email Diane. Email Diane because like, definitely 14. It's like, I, I remember wanting it so bad just to be mm-hmm. normal. Yeah. And once it's there, you're like, this sucks ass. Yeah. I mean, I for sure got teased for not having it, but I would much rather get teased for it not having part. it than get teased for having it. It is the weirdest part to me, just like getting teased yeah. based on your period is the weirdest shit in the I world. also got teased for wearing a bra before I had to. Oh. But they were right. I didn't need I definitely one. got teased because someone found the receipt for my bra and it said something like triangle bra and they were like, you mm. have like a Madonna bra? And I was like, does it look like I have a Madonna bra on you, <laughs> Wow, bitch? they don't know anything about bras. It's just embarrassing when you're like... <laughs> a child yeah ew but that was like the era of did you did you have kids that like i mean i'm saying kids but i mean boys yeah that would snap your bra oh, strap yeah, truly what is wrong i mean i'm sure that's painful now. and perverted just gross yeah you probably got kicked out of school for that now i bet Not i'm sure i mean like just for the certainly. day i mean i guess like it's sexual harassment it is sexual <laughs> harassment now that i think about it it's pretty gross i had one guy unhooked my bra that's gross yeah ew I mean, I got to say, I don't... Oh, and this kind of is like that... You know that guy that you love posting, that like sexualized yeah. food man? Yeah, Cedric. What is he? He's like a, chef? a chef. No, I don't know if he's a chef, but he definitely is my worst enemy, I would say. His name is Cedric something with a G. He's definitely no. always fingering and like fucking food, essentially. Cedric Lorenzen. Face and mouth. Yeah, we can put some of his greatest hits oh, in yeah. Walmart because he's my worst nightmare, but also my best friend. Um, basically, he makes different food items and throughout the process, he'll he'll knead the dough and like shove his face in there like he's eating the pussy of the dough. Oh, God. He'll sort of like finger the clit of a kiwi. Uh, he'll spit randomly. Oh my god! And there's one video where he just like food. manifests a plunger out of nowhere and uses it as a rolling pin. Um, so I don't know. How <laughs> he, he really likes doing that. I, I love don't know when how post that's sexual. That's so weird. And he always cleans up his workspace, usually shirtless. So that's nice. <laughs> Some of his food looks not bad, but like the thought of him like diddling the whipped cream with his tongue makes it seem not appealing to me it's just not it's very weird i do not like the way he does it's it like, why are you performing cunning lingus on this dough <laughs> it's so weird. but i think it's like is it booty or is it the jj sorry i said that is it booty related or is it vagina related or is it dick related i don't know he does it all he's really pansexual when it comes to his food yeah yeah i, I can't tell anything it's just no. all of it is just like whoa he's always just like doing the tongue shit and you're just like you're I mean, I guess you're good with your tongue, but like, also, I don't want you to ever go down on me. I don't but know. also, just because you can lick whipped cream off a spoon doesn't mean you're good at performing oral sex. <laughs> exactly. My name is Diane. Because, <laughs> you know. We made love, we cried. <laughs> Certainly. Be the good girl you always have to be. <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to get into that in a minute. Um, okay, wow, so do you have good any other- girl, polar opposite of bad boy. What? Never wow, thought we about start it. Another pod, good girl pod. Yeah, damn. no, no. All right, I don't. Sounds think so. very porny. Um, it does. It does. Is that the end of? I honestly, I know that I had other bad boys this week. I just they have melted. Be the good girl you always have to be. Let's move on to bad boy updates. I can't wait. Oh wait, what was the huge update that we were like? Doctor Phil, I almost oh, said yeah, Big, Phil. Dr. Phil, Big Phil. <laughs> Big <laughs> Phil, Big Phil. We got it out of her Do- system. Yeah, Doctor Phil is going off the air. Sorry, um, no one's shocked about it. No. I think it's been on the air for twenty something years. Yeah. So he had a solid run. I mean, and all of it pretty bad. Yeah. Well, greatest hits can't really remember. I mean, just like any of them, I really don't remember them like I remember Maury's. Yeah, Maury is way more memorable. No offense. Um, Jerry. Jerry? Yeah, Springer. Jerry Springer. Wow. Yeah. I was like, is it Jerry or Harry for a second? But Harry Jesus Springer. Christ. <laughs> Embarrassing. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of that show, but no. like But they love to throw chairs. But the thing is, like, Maury had all the really memorable ones. Like I'm 
15, 13 years old, I'm going to have a baby 15 Damn. years old. She was iconic. Oh, my God. You know, like, Beautiful. you know, there was just. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she's fine. I'm, I honestly hope she's rich. I definitely had a friend who friended her on Facebook in high school. Oh. Or is that a memory I, I invented in my head? I don't know, because we both friended Beans on fucking Facebook. And we're still friends with Beans. Yep. Beans, Beans, Beans. I okay, let's move on to bad boy updates. Please. Um, Let's start with Leonardo DiCaprio, because he has a new girlfriend. <laughs> Women, would you please like me? I mean, more like girls, because she's 19. Be the good girl you always have to be. <laughs> Absolutely, and we'll get into that in a minute. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio, at the beautiful age of 48, was seen on a date with a 19-year-old model, who is Israeli. Oh, um, I don't know so why I included that she's young. Israeli, but she is. It's very young. He's just so young. Yeah, that's... Am I a bitch? <laughs> yeah, but like not because of this. Ugh, it's just like... I know. I just want people to like live their lives. Just at the like, same at time, this just point, like, if you're Leonardo DiCaprio, ugh. you know what people are saying. But I guess he's just compulsive when it comes to dating children. You heard Legally, it they're adults. Legally, adults. But come on. I mean, teen. At least wait. Just like maybe just like twenty and up. Come on. I if know. you really have to date someone twenty plus years younger than you, yep. At least like, can they be in their twenties? At least, at <laughs> like least my... be able to take them to a bar. Oh, but, there I mean, you go. I guess if they're oh, in like, think about that. If they're in Europe, they can go anywhere, baby. You're right. My name is Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm sure in Israel, the drinking age is 18. Okay. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. I'm sure it is. Canada, it's 19 in most places. Some places, um, 18 as well. So that's Leonardo DiCaprio update. We'll definitely keep everyone abreast. Sorry, okay, of pervert. the uh, perfect news coming out of that relationship. Also, Tom Brady. Oh my god! Officially retired. Uh, favorite football player? I don't know. I can't even think of a single um, football player. Definitely OJ Simpson. Oh, <laughs> how about you? Uh, we made love. We cried. I don't know. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, so that was a quick one, and we have an incredibly important bad boy update regarding the congressman uh, George Santos who just so happens to have an amazing singing voice. Wickedly talented. Uh, he is wickedly talented. <laughs> be the good girl you always have um, to Can we play be. one of his songs? Yes. Yeah, so, oh, so good. Some, uh, some brilliant uh, individual on TikTok uncovered his account on an app called Smule, <laughs> which is a karaoke <laughs> app. When I okay, when Zoe sent me this TikTok of this person who uncovered it, this like Broadway, what's his name? I don't know. We'll we'll put a we'll we'll credit the correct man in Wilmer Sliderama. Sure. And um, he was just like, he's like, and I've personally been on this app for like ten plus years. Or something. I know. I was like, okay, well, you know, brag. I'm, yeah, so, and you're just like, wait a second. So it's called Smule. It's, it's called always Smule. been called this, and it's why? called Smule. Apparently, it's been around for an incredibly long time, yet has never broached uh, popularity in any way, shape, or form. And tell me why it's called Smule exactly? Like, uh, maybe there's a reason. Smusical. Yeah, they should have gone with Smusical. Yeah, could have. <laughs> it should only be able to be Dr. Seuss musical songs. So Smule is a. Uh, karaoke app where Beautiful. individuals can i guess sing delicious little tunes so it's just it's any songs it's not just i don't I'm know because i'm I don't, asking for myself i don't know if it's any songs i have truthfully only looked at one smule account and it's that of <laughs> the very lovely george santos um but he's george devolder on the app if you'd like to go to smule.com slash george devolder you can Beautiful. get a earful Again, for sure. One of the most interesting things about him. Yeah. And not a lie. Like, this is his life. I love it. Not a I lie. I love his real life. It's so much more interesting than his fake persona. Um. So, Very yeah, let's, let's listen to some of these delicious tunes. Oh, yeah. I'm the one with the iPad. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Which one should I do? Do you think I should do Aladdin mm. or Circle of Life or Kiss the Girl? Oh, he did three times. He did Kiss the Girl three times? He really did. He wow. did Let It Go. Yeah. Three times, I think, also. Wow. Well, I Goodness. guess he couldn't let it go. <laughs> Stop. Um, I don't know. You know, you can... Hallelujah's good. Yeah, Hallelujah's classic. Ooh, Over the Rainbow. Oh, I haven't listened to that one. Let's do Over the Rainbow. Let It Go has the most listens, by the way. I think that's the one that probably went viral. I guess so. Not on the app. It's a duet. With who? Lena Ziegler? The caption of this is LOL. 
I mean, I'm inclined to agree with him on that one. <laughs> you can't deny his commitment. I think it's great. I know that he definitely has, like, the lyrics up right now. Oh, perfect voice. Okay, I mean, undeniable. She's much better than him. But... Rainbow. Is she six? I was good. It's a bit kids boppy. Yeah, it's a little. Ju- it is a little kids boppy. Um, here we go with the duet part. Oh, see, he has no rhythm and no. Uh, he's. Oh, painful. But he's trying. Smule. Do you think this is why he was kicked off all those committees? Yes, I think, think they listened is... to this and they were like, "Sorry, Broadway voices only." Do you think we should get a Smule account for Diane? Um, I gotta say, it's not helping my migraine to listen to this, but we could do one more. I'm doing part of your world. I'm sorry. I just gotta do a little merm. Favorite Disney movie? Um, Fantasia. Okay, wow. Straight up, bitch. What about you? Aladdin. Mm, Mm -hmm. That's a good one. It is. Yeah, I was about to say, he's dead. This isn't George. I do miss him now. I mean, like, yeah. It's a, when he died, I was like, oh, that sucks. And I was just like, I genuinely do miss him. Sorry, best song on earth. Robin yeah, Williams. How was dare you not talk about Robin Williams, Williams during this beautiful duet? One of my friend's first crushes was um, Prince Eric from Little Mermaid. I mean, he's hot. Definitely. Yeah. And he no had his doubt. chest exposed. It's just yeah. like, baby. Thingamabobs. Oh my God! I got to get Thingamabobs for the next. Episode. Uh, about yeah. Perfect. You're right. She is. Is this also Lena? His duet partner? This is, um, Lucha Lee. Oh, she's not bad. She's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it says, The Mermaid in Me has come right out. Beautiful song. Join me? That's what the caption was. Should we have feet as one? Feet? Yes. Jumping, dancing, strolling around on a. This was a. Um, what do you. What is what? the word again? <laughs> <laughs> do they not have the lyrics in front of them? Because she was like. Sweet. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely me when I don't know the lyrics. This was definitely on our um, TSPL playlist, I think. Oh, beautiful. One of our um, office playlists. This is the perfect song to sing a duet to in, in the office, I think. Yeah, definitely. This is what we did this frequently. wasn't. A duet in the movie, though. No. This was... Oh, wait. Was it? No, it's not. It's just her. My Prince Eric? <laughs> George of <Older. laughs> I mean, Santa. Sorry. Mine? Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> oh, certainly. <laughs> Vastly different men. Well, I guess we can stop this madness, because um, it's a lot. But you can find all of it. Do you think it. Rudy Giuliani would look great in a white shirt slightly open at Ooh. the top? Ooh. meats. I think so, oh, too. Wow. Okay. Women, will you please like me? Okay, well, that was perfect. We're at 35. What do you think? Should we just... Should we... Do the next update? I think we had one more, right? Not really, but I did write one about Anna Delvey. Oh, Anna Did you know that she celebrated her 32nd birthday and required people to sign NDAs and give her their social security number? What the fuck? And she has a new show coming out. I love all of this. She's like on house arrest. I think she's having like a Delvey's dinner party type of show. Oh, see, here's the thing. It's like, I never really think about celebrities or disgraced people in the media Mm -hmm. and think I want to be their friend. Yeah. But at this point, Anna Delvey's it. I mean, I wouldn't want to give her my social security number. Certainly not. But maybe um, like my Canadian one, but not my Americano. Is, does the Canadian one have the same number of digits? I don't remember at this Perfect. point. Perfect. But it's called a SIN number. Okay. <laughs> um, I think that, you know, she's not a good person, but maybe she's a great friend. Oh. You my know, name you is really, Diane. My name is Alt. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You can maybe trust her with your problems. Be the good girl you always have to be. <laughs> that was definitely written about Anna Delphi. But she would definitely um, use them against you. Oh, yeah. And she would kind of dang them over you and be like, remember when you told me? I mean, don't get on her bad side. Oh, certainly not. Oh, she's one of those friends that you're kind of afraid to let get on your total bad side. Because oh, you're yeah. like, ooh, I just like... 
I keep them around because I'm afraid. She's a friend that you're scared of. Yep. We all have them. Yep. I mean, I you know, I would say most of them are out of my life now, but they've been there in the past and they'll probably be there in the future. But Mine? Yep. A Furby. Oh, delicioso. Yum, yum, yum. Women, will you please like me? For sure. For sure. Um, I guess. So what do you think? Should we just make this a real shorty Morty or should we like squeeze? Should we do TV talk so it's more relevant? I guess so. Yeah. Let's yeah. And then we TV could do out. Then we could do our <clears throat> bad boy and our whatever. Okay. TV talk. Oh, We're really flying by the seat of our pants here. We really are. TV, TV talk. talk. <sighs> Let's talk about Pamela Anderson because oh, yeah. our boy Kid Rock made a slight um, appearance in the doc. So Pamela has Pamela M. Pamela M has a new docu walk on what? Netflix. Uh, it's called Pamela: A Love Story. I think so. <laughs> um, it's literally two hours long. But mm-hmm. what do you think? Not bad. I mean, it was just like it's it's cute to be like, oh, Pam, yeah, stripped down, yeah, no maquillage, yeah, like just kind of like whatever. Just Pam uh, on her island in Canada. Pam's here and she's all she's divorced again. She I is. I love that part. I love how often she gets divorced. I love how she's just like, the ah, fuck it, let's just get yeah, divorced. She does not care, but she loves love. Oh, she's just a love loving lover. She's a love loving lover, around, and there's no know? denying that. Yeah, I feel like I'm glad that she got to say her side of the story. Such a romantic, definitely. Yeah, and like I, I love that her sons love her. Her sons love oh, her. Her sons are obsessed with her, and they're cute. I gotta say, I gotta say, they're kind of attractive sons. They really are hot. I gotta say, <laughs> they got. I gotta say, they're hot. There are some hot son- celebrity um, sons out there, and it's also funny when they were like, "Remember when our mom dated Kid Rock?" And I was like, "Yeah." Yeah, that I loved how they even said that, and you're just like, "Wow, yeah, you lived in Florida for a second or yeah, something." Yeah, it's like well, we lived it. Oh, oh yeah, that's Detroit. what it was, Detroit. Oh, yeah, yeah, wild. You're like, remember when we lived in Detroit, and Pam was like, "Ha ha ha," <laughs> um, and I was like, "Oh, Pam." They're kind of like, I mean, I don't know where they were born, but they're a little Canadian rising. You can sure. see it in their eyes. Yeah, they do have a, they do have kind of Canadian eyes. That's cute. Um, what did you think about her saying that she's never fallen out of love with Tommy Lee? I mean, I think they're going to get married again. Did I not tell you this? I really do think eventually they're going to get married I again. I sort of agree. I really do. I mean, like, <laughs> I don't it's think the this perfect is a conspiracy, Tommy. No, I really but do I think. I think in like 15 years. Oh Sorry, my that's my CBC alarm. Oopsie. I, CBC. <laughs> I should just maybe make it for Monday to Friday when the Canadian news comes on. <laughs> wow. I had no idea that you were that into the Canadian news that you had an alarm. I honestly, it only I only probably watch it like once or twice a week at this point. Do you think they're going to talk about the balloon they shot down? Because wasn't it oh, in the God, Midwest, sure, it's, northern Midwest? There's so much less news up there. Mm. They get to talk about it. <laughs> Have you ever been to Pamela's Island? No. Oh. Pamela's Island is such a good name for it, though. <laughs> I really wish it was called that. I mean, maybe in the future it'll be called that. I mean, BC is super beautiful, though. I mean, imagine fucking retiring in BC. My I do like Anderson. when they drag, um, not Dave Letterman, although kind of Dave Letterman, Jay Leno. Oh, yeah, when she's like on the show and she's like, um, you've been nothing but the worst. <laughs> yeah, I do like when she does that because fuck Well, them. I don't even think she, does she say that? Because I think... She no, kind of alludes like to the, being the butt of his jokes, I yeah, guess. Yeah, she alludes to it to his face, but then in the editing, did she not say you were obsessed, you're obsessed with me? Or did I just completely hallucinate that? I have no idea. But in the editing, there was like definitely a super cut of, of Jay Leno talking about her. Yeah. I mean, they love to talk about women. It's just like they're obsessed with it. But I mean, the male writers are just like, nah, here's something good. Yeah, they're like, ah, titties. <clears throat> titties, that's funny. And then the fucking news... They're More like, in the news. Pamela Anderson's titties again. Yeah, I mean, literally so on. I mean, and she was like, this is boring to talk about. And I was like, you're right, Pamela. And it's so funny because she was just like, yeah, I was just honest about it because I was just honest about it. I didn't think anything about it because I yeah, didn't, about her implants. didn't bother me. Yeah. Just, they really showed the boobies a lot in the doc. They really did. They really did. Great looking tits. There's you know, no denying congratulations, it. Congratulations, Pam. You know, you did yeah, it. Yeah, you really did it. And you know what? 
I mean, I just, I do love how transparent and matter of fact she is, though. It's yeah, very refreshing and cute. I do love Pamela Anderson. My name is Julia Davidovich. I, I can't believe how many journals she had. Yeah, it's really Also, great. that she doesn't re- reread them is wild to me. Because if I had journals for my entire life, I would reread them constantly and probably get really depressed about it. Well, I guess that's why, because it was a little too painful. But, like, yeah. um, also documenting it through video was cute. Yeah. She's very smart to do all that. Um, it's true. Very interesting. But yeah, yeah, and I love her hot yeah. sons. Hot sons. Yeah. I mean, it's like, are we supportive of her getting back with Tommy? Probably I don't know. Not. She's like, I'm happy that Tommy is with the girl that, whatever. Oh, she's definitely one to be like, oh, listen, yeah. live and let live. Yeah, she's listen, definitely like. As long as like, he's in love, that's all I care about. Yeah, totally. She's, I'm she high loves road. Love. She loves love. Oh, so, so if there's anything it. she loves more. Oh, it's just love and her sons. Love and playing oh, Roxy Hart on, on Broadway. <laughs> oh my God. Honestly, I was surprised. I didn't even know that. I, I was didn't like, know that either. I was like, how's she gonna? And then she didn't do such a bad job. I mean, she so has awesome. a better voice than George Santos. S- where's where's S- her certainly. Smule account? To my I mean, <laughs> honestly, Smule Watch, I would say. Pamela's <laughs> definitely on Smule Watch. Please just um, Smule. Can I talk about this docuseries on Netflix called Gunther's Millions? Please do. It's about this Italian man who, um, I mean... That's not the whole thing. Basically, it's about this, the story of this countess who leaves like $400 million to this German shepherd named Gunther. What about me? I'm Gunther. Gunther Davidovich. I'm a, I'm a dog. <laughs> and it's essentially like how this guy who's like left in charge of the estate starts having... I don't even know how it devolves into this, but basically there's the story of this countess who's a woman who died, um, who was friends with this Italian guy's mom. And this woman had a son who died, Hmm. who killed himself. Nice. And I mean, not really. (laughs) Whatever. It turns out it was all fake. So you can say nice. Okay. Um, And this Italian guy like committed his life to studying what makes people depressed. And he did this by hiring people and, like, doing scientific studies on them by, like, watching them. It was very culty. There was also a part that was, like, a little bit master racy because he was, like, making them fuck and making, like, perfect humans. I don't know. It was all sort of fucked up, but kind of an interesting doc. Very Netflix. Oh, dear. Listen, I'll watch it. Yeah, you should watch it. It's Um, an interesting It's an interesting because there's a German shepherd. There's animal abuse. There's cult. Mm. It's only a kiss of animal abuse. Do I have to see that happening? No. Okay. That's always bad. I don't like that. Um, it's just, it's like really like a <clears throat> side quest in the doc. Ugh, yeah. yeah okay. Just a quick little. But, you know, I guess it, it really hits all the doc points other than murder. Okay. But I mean, that's cult, fine too. sex cult, rich Italian, German shepherd, a kiss of animal abuse. Inheritance. You know, inheritance, that money, offshore bank accounts. Listen, inheritance, um, baby. This douchey guy with tattoos who is obsessed with himself it really has it all Mm -hmm. sounds very good yeah okay all right well let's um i guess finish the part one tim gunn oh god tim gunn i wonder how he's doing he's doing his show with heidi klum that i've watched that's fine oh yeah so he's good he's fine tim's fine so shop.badboypod.com for a Diane shirt. Email Diane at badboypod.com. Your bad boys on the block, your good boys, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe you have a friend you want to set up with Diane. She's interested. Mm. She's always interested. Gaping. Um, gapingly interested. Her schedule? Gaping. Oh, hello. Follow us at Bad Boy Podcast on Instagram. Mm-hmm. We don't tweet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> give us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. For mm-hmm. the love of all that is holy. We do like them. We do. And that's it. Yeah. So go on down and 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 have an amazing fucking day. Or whatever it is. What day is it? Thursday. It's Sunday here, but it's Thursday where you are. Perfect. Brought to you by Lady Parts. <laughs>